to hook up the uh, solenoid wiring for the uh, project Evil Knievel playfield. So anyway, we're going to get right into it. What you're going to see here is the solenoid driver board. All these connections here are where the wires hook up to. And I want to show you something uh, just in case you don't know how these things work. If you look at this part of the board, it's got some numbers written on it. It says J5, which is right here. Here's my finger, J5, and you see the number one to 15. Okay, these numbers represent on the schematic what each one of those pins do. So here's the schematic. Uh, see how it says voltage regulator solenoid driver? And it says A3, okay? So if we look, J4, J3, J2, J1, J5. And again, they correspond uh, to all these little parts on the, the board. So there's J1, J2, so on and so forth, okay? So anyway, we're gonna get the J5. Look at J5. You're gonna see the numbers that we just saw on the board, one to 15, okay? So these, uh, all the action happens uh, at, what is it, 10 to about 15. Here's your plug. If we look at it this way, uh, the, this side here is one, this side here is 15. How do I know that? Well, you'll see the key, which is right here. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but it's the only one that's got a block in it. The key is space one, two, three, four, five, six spot. And if we look at the schematic, key six. Okay, so we know it's growing this way. That's 15. So we're going to start at 15. 15, the color of the wire is white. Is, sorry, it's black with a white tracer. So if we look at number 15, we see left slingshot, okay? Uh, the color of the wire is right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's an 85. 85 is black with white tracer. How do we know that? Well, the Bally standard um, color code. Uh, this is in the schematic. What I did is I just photocopied and put it on the switch matrix because I actually wired up the switch matrix first. And it was a real... Uh, uh, devil to, to get it done and it would be a bit difficult to uh, talk to it as I was uh, putting it together so I thought okay let's do this part at the solenoid uh, this wiring part at the solenoid step which is where we are anyway so this is in your schematic uh, again black eight five white uh, so black with the white tracer now when we look back here it says left slingshot okay how do I find out where the left slingshot is ah that's where we go to the manual okay this is uh, evil Knievel manual and if I'm looking at the switches okay these are the switches and if I look down here I'm gonna see left slingshot and it's saying it's gonna be number 37 why is that significant because I'm gonna flip the page and it gives us a breakup a breakdown of what each switch does okay so this indicates the switch the zero and that indicates the solenoid, okay? So we're not worried about that yet. We're wiring up the switch, which triggers the solenoid, and I'm gonna show you that. So anyway, we find 37. Here's 37, okay? So that's the left slingshot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire the slingshot. We're gonna just put the wire to where the slingshot's gonna be, and I'll show you how the switch triggers the uh, solenoid. Uh, it, it's kind of weird because I'm going on what looks to be the right side to identify uh, the left side. So if we look at the play field, hey Sam, you're showing me the right side. Well, actually, this is actually the left side. This is the left side, and I've marked left on the top here just so I can orient myself. Because if we flip the board around, well, the left side is actually the left side. But nonetheless, so what I did, here's our black wire. Okay. Again, the black wire with the white trace. I uh, put it down, I followed the route. Here it is, black with white, black with white, and here's where it's uh, gonna end up uh, living, for lack of a better word. This is where it's gonna get connected. I'm not connecting them yet, and the only reason, sorry, I'm not connecting them, meaning I'm not twist tying them like I did on the switch matrix, only because uh, as, you tight, as you twist tie them, it starts to shrink 
uh, the wire, like it starts to compress it. And I wanna make sure that I have uh, enough wire to hook it up to the solenoid uh, so that I don't have any tight wires that could uh, affect um, how well uh, they, they stay on, for staying on for lack of a better word. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how the uh, coil works, the plunger. So in this case, this is a pop. So it kind of, it hooks like this. Okay, that's where it hooks up. But what we have here is a wire hooks to this, the uh, solenoid. And when the switch is compressed right here, when this makes contact, what it does is it sends a signal to the MPU and it tells this to activate. It tells it, okay, do your thing. Okay, pull in. Okay, so that's the relationship between uh, all your switches. So any, any switch here that activates a coil. So there's this one. Uh, there's a switch here. Uh, this is a big one. So there's switches back here. Now uh, these are your drop targets. So as the drops uh, activate, it activates the switch. And then when they're all closed, it sends a computer the note to uh, reset the drop the the targets. So anyway, so this is it. Uh, really quickly, quick and dirty, as I like to say. And we'll meet you for the next round, which will be to hook up the lights. Uh, so that's going to be the fun part because we've got a, a lot of work there. Anyway, uh, comment below. Feel free to reach out to me and uh, keep flipping.